The live-action God of War series was officially announced over a year ago. Sony Pictures will be the primary rights holder, and the show will be exclusively available on Prime Video. Information about Amazon negotiating the adaptation of God of War surfaced in March 2021, but now this information has received official confirmation from Sony Pictures. Indeed, fan opinions are divided. Some believe that Amazon may struggle with adapting such an extensive project with rich characters. The audience immediately recalls Rings of Power, which received negative reviews views and disappointed many. Of course, concerns have arisen that a similar fate awaits God of War. However, some believe that everything is going as planned. The crucial thing is for the first season to launch successfully and seemingly there is no cause for concern on that front. In a recent interview with Deadline, the president of Sony Pictures Television stated that work on the live-action God of War is progressing full steam ahead and filming will commence in the summer of 2024. Sony has significant plans for expanding its hit franchises. Focusing solely on games is not the best solution. Stories and characters need to be transitioned into films and shows. In recent years, the studio has actively ventured into media, thus broadening its audience. Well-known franchises have received adaptations. We've already seen Uncharted, Gran Turismo, and The Last of Us. The studio is sure to continue developing this sector, given its success so far. All the projects I mentioned were generally well-received by the audience and positively influenced the development of Sony movies as a whole. The adaptation of The Last of Us on HBO proved successful, immediately earning approval for a second season. The series also managed to boost game sales. Regarding God of War, the franchise has now found a second wind. After the soft reboot in 2018, there are more players who don't see Kratos' story merely as that of a demigod ruthlessly killing gods. The character has found his path becoming a father. The new game duology consistently tops sales charts and currently holds the status of one of the best single-player games of all time. It's safe to say that the live-action show will garner immense viewership and interest from the audience. The director and showrunner for the first season will be Reed Jenkins, known for his work on The Wheel of Time. Leading the writing team is Mark Fergus, acclaimed for his contributions to the first Iron Man film and the Oscar-nominated Children of Men. Creative director of Santa Monica Studio, Corey Barlog will serve as an executive producer for the adaptation. With Barlog's involvement, there's less concern about canon preservation as he has successfully overseen the entire God of War game series from the beginning. Earlier statements from Amazon emphasized the fidelity of the God of War adaptation to the original material. However, studio representatives acknowledge the greater challenges of adapting existing franchises, even stating that it's more challenging than presenting an entirely original idea. Adapting creators must consider the core and the foundational elements of the source material. Without losing its charm, it's essential to understand that a straightforward retelling of the games is unsuitable for the show format, and it needs to be crafted into a standalone product. In short, striking a balance between between staying true to the canon and introducing something new is crucial. From interviews, it's apparent that working on franchises is no easy task. In some ways, developing a franchise is more complex than coming up with an original idea from scratch. Authors must adhere to the lore and universe's stories while providing their unique perspective. Crafting a script requires extensive thought on what can be altered or added to expand the franchise. Otherwise, the project risks being mediocre with numerous inconsistencies and shortcomings. According to the latest news, the storyline of the series will be based on the 2018 game, but this doesn't mean that Kratos' adventures in ancient Greece will be forgotten. More likely, they will be presented through flashbacks and perhaps even be dedicated to a separate season as a prequel. However, the decision regarding the prequel will likely be made only after several seasons, contingent upon the success of the original show. This strategic decision aims to retain audience interest and gradually unveil various aspects of Kratos' story. It's it's essential to emphasize that the series won't simply replicate the new games, ensuring players continued engagement. This approach suggests that viewers will enjoy a unique narrative and characters, regardless of their familiarity with the game's storyline. The creators aspire not only to deepen the lore of the God of War franchise, but also to offer a fresh and captivating perspective on Kratos' history. These subtle hints at possible story expansion, including a prequel, add extra mystery to the project and fuel anticipation among fans. 
fans, creating favorable conditions for successfully integrating God of War into the realm of live-action series. However, the project faces a significant risk, what is often referred to as unoriginality. Let me explain. With the release of the first season and even the trailer, everyone will begin comparing the show to the game. Such a strong connection to the source material can both help and harm. This is because thousands are still actively playing God of War 2018 and the audience's memory is fresh. Moreover, how the Santa Monica team managed to adapt Kratos' new adventures, brilliantly showcasing places and characters from Norse mythology, deserves respect. They set such a high standard that there's a concern the live-action show might seem like a parody. Remember The Last of Us, which turned out great but faced criticism towards Bella Ramsey's casting? Well, the God of War universe is known for its memorable characters, and there's a whole bunch of them. I'll be up front, the casting won't please everyone. Even if Amazon manages to find the perfect actor for Kratos, the situation with the other Nordic lore might be tricky. Just look at the incredible work Raf Grissetti did with the God of War characters. Each one is unique and easily recognizable. How can they translate them into live action? In my opinion, everything boils down to the cast. Certainly everyone has one key question, who will portray Kratos? There's no official statement from the studio yet, but Dave Bautista, known for his role as Drax in Marvel movies, has expressed a strong desire to take on this character. I believe that despite his acting experience, Bautista's appearance doesn't quite match the image. Many want to see Dwayne Johnson, and you know what? That's also a miscast. He's too popcorny for this role. Everyone will see The Rock, not Kratos. It will be challenging to overlook that. More than them, I'd like to see Jason Momoa. Considering how he looks, he generally fits the bill. However, among the rumors, there's also the possibility of Tom Hardy. Many insiders even claim that Tom is currently the studio's favorite candidate. If this turns out to be true, it's a failure. With all due respect, Kratos is just not the type of character for actors like Tom Hardy and Dave Bautista, in my opinion. I think they should choose a relatively unknown actor. Look at how HBO's Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon find excellent talents and give them leading roles. These actors then become fan favorites. In short, studios can find an actor for the lead role who isn't widely known. Also, Christopher Judge expressed a desire to play his character in live action, but honestly, that's also off the mark. Personally, I wanted to see some lesser known talent in the lead role. As for the Norse gods, the guys from Viking Show could easily take on those roles. They all have ideal facial features for such characters. The narrative of the God of War universe indeed provides enough material for at least four seasons of the upcoming series. However, there's a hint that, considering the particular popularity of the series reboot, Amazon might hasten to shift the storyline after Kratos practically annihilates the gods of Olympus. The series script will focus solely on the stories following the conclusion of the Greek saga, where Kratos embarks on exile to the distant north. Over the years, influenced by his feelings for Faye, he becomes more serene. This mysterious story story not revealing all its cards from the start promises a deep and captivating journey. I hope that Amazon, taking into account the lessons learned from previous missteps like the Rings of Power, will gift us a high-quality adaptation of God of War with profound meaning and an enthralling plot. Stay tuned.